And now it's time to talk about something truly mind-bending. India's quantum leap. IIT Madras has licensed its quantum random number generator, QRNG, to Indrarka Quantum Technologies in a deal worth 1 crore rupees. This is not just theoretical physics. This is market-ready technology. Why does this matter? It's quite simple. Traditional random numbers are predictable, easy for hackers to exploit. But QRNG, powered by quantum physics, generates truly random numbers. So basically, no patterns, no formulas, which means no hacks. This is the foundation for unhackable encryption. QRNG's potential? Well, endless. From defense and finance to blockchain and gaming, this technology is ready to revolutionize how we think about security. And the best part? It's compact, scalable, and cost-effective. Quantum power without the price tag. And tonight, we will be joined by Professor Bijoy Krishna Das, the visionary behind this breakthrough. With a career spanning IIT Kharagpur, Osaka, Lehigh, and CNRS France, he's now leading the charge in indigenous quantum innovation right here in India. India's quantum future isn't just theoretical, it's here, tangible, and ready to disrupt. Welcome to the show, Professor. It's truly an honor to have you with us. And uh, I hope you're doing wonderfully well because we have loads of things to talk about and for you to illuminate us. Thank you very much for having me here. I would love to interact with you. Thank you so much, sir. It's truly an honor. And uh, to kick things off, uh, Professor, uh, what makes a quantum random number generator different from conventional randomness? And why is silicon photonics the game changer here? That would be the wonderful way to kick off this conversation. So, uh, you know, uh, this uh, silicon photonics, uh, basically what we mean that some kind of photonic devices which can be fabricated in conventional uh, semiconductor foundry. So uh, if you use the semiconductor technology, that means uh, your CMOS fabrication process, if your infrastructure is existing. Mm -hmm. So you can just use that infrastructure, design your device, and then you get your uh, chip. You can say that uh, semiconductor chip the photonic chip, which can be cost effective. So that is where we, and also of course, the silicon photonics, because it is CMOS uh, fabrication process, it is scalable. So manufacturing cost will be very low. Mm -hmm. That is where silicon photonics is a game changing technology, not only for quantum, many other applications. You know, it's, what's wonderful also when you talk about scalable, sir, and the sheer expanse of this technology, uh, the next uh, thought that actually comes to mind is that it's from defense to banking. Uh, QRNG is being called the backbone of unhackable security. So would you be kind enough to explain how this technology directly impacts national security and pretty much every day digital trust? So you know, this uh, for security purpose, the absolute security you can ensure uh, by means of uh, quantum key distribution. You have to generate quantum key, which is by uh, physics, it is completely uh, 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 unbreakable. You can use that to encode your data or uh, whatever conversation uh, that will be secure. If someone is hacking, then of course you will be able to know. That is the key for quantum physics. And this quantum physics being used or generating quantum random number. This quantum random number, it is useful for your key generation. Mm -hmm. And it is encoding and decoding both cases. You need really a random number so that your everything, all the data, communications, that will be secure. 
So essentially, sir, it's foolproof. And uh, like you said, that the, the red flags would immediately go up. If at all somebody is trying to hack in, somebody is trying to do something as far as the security measures are concerned, which actually means that there would have been a lot of research, which, which must have gone in a very deep dive level of research, which is why I would like to ask you this, that IIT Madras has been steadily converting academic research into deployable technologies, Shakti microprocessors and now QRNG. How do you see academia and industry partnerships shaping India's quantum future? Definitely, because, you know, uh, for example, if I say that uh, this uh, uh, quantum random number, when you just uh, generate in cheap scale, you have to have your device design, which can be uh, compatible in uh, to fabricate in existing infrastructure so that your cost will be lower. Mm -hmm. So we had to start very early as early as uh, 2021 and we develop a lot of design uh, rules for foundry manufacturing with the help of our foundry partner. And you know this uh, uh, any photonics chip you fabricate it needs some kind of electronic driving circuitry sure so you have to develop electronic hardware as well to drive your photonics hmm. chip right? hmm. and in this photonics chip we uh, exploit vacuum fluctuation quantum vacuum fluctuations and uh, that vacuum fluctuation we accelerate or uh, amplify using a local oscillator local laser oscillator and those type of thing require a very good light coupling efficiency to the photonics chip, laser light coupling efficiency of the photonics. So that technology also we indigenously developed in our lab. And then we have also packaged it with our industry partner, ISMO Microsystem Bangalore. So that also took a lot of time because, you know, photonics chip, you need electrical interfacing, optical interfacing, RF interfacing, all those type of thing interfacing required. So it took plenty of uh, time. In the beginning, we had a just simple uh, PhD problem, research problem given to our one of our research scholar. Mm -hmm. But later on, when we find that that comes out very good results, then a mm -hmm. lot of researchers, other engineers, they also uh, involved and developed the complete technology, field deployed with technology. And entirely indigenous, it is uh, uh, de designed, developed in our lab, and it is also tested in the field. You know, we have the uh, Society for Electronic Transactions uh, and Security. Uh, they are known for security testing, etc. So they, they, we have deployed our product and uh, tested there, and successfully it was utilized. So that is how we are at this stage and uh, industry came forward to take over. And uh, uh, right now, the, uh, uh, this product actually going for uh, uh, scaling up and, to, and will be deployed for, for cloud service. So quantum random number will be uh, uh, given as a service uh, to cloud. Yeah. So Sir, before, how... before actually I, I get on to the uh, photonics bit, I, 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 I could hear a sense of pride, a sense of happiness in your voice. Uh, yes. when, you, when you mentioned that, you know, it came to a researcher and then right from there, his little discovery and uh, what he kind of stumbled upon and uh, you felt that it could be actually shared with so many researchers and then the team came together. It started off right. in 2021. We are four years down the line. So it yes. must be, it, I would love for you to share that feeling with us today that, you know, all of the grind, the research, everything that's gone in, the maybe the failures as you guys were going along. But today, you all are filled with pride because you've, you've done something which is remarkable. So, you know, as I mentioned, that it is actually started from the scratch. You, you have to design your device and then you have to manufacture it in a foundry ambience sure. and then get back those chips you test it multiple times your design may not work and it is all about 
learning process also from our for our research scholars as well sure so it took a while to uh, optimize the design and then later on next phase the critical part is uh, packaging so photonics packaging is a very nascent stage but what was the uh, emotion what... like sir what was that emotion like that that sense of maybe satisfaction that i would love for you to tell us about that i mean probably what did you say to your team the moment you knew the breakthrough had taken place you see that that is actually uh, my uh, ambition was that something uh, if we go worldwide we hardly find any uh, kind of instrument, sophisticated instrument in any of the lab. Uh, we find uh, any lab outside Europe or America or something like that. Sure. And in our labs also, we see most of the time high tech research. If we do most of the instrument we bring, we procure from ex um, outside world. Mm -hmm. So it was our dream that we should also have some kind of device, nice. some kind of system, some kind of tools that will be developed in our institute in our academic lab like stanford mit that type of nice. level and it will be also uh, uh, being used it will be used worldwide in different labs not only for laboratory research purpose it also can be field deployable so that would be our pride so this type nice. of product if we if you see that hardly we find some product hardware product developed in india and it is dominating worldwide so that is our pride and it was a really exciting moment for us nice. our students also uh, very happy because of their hard work it is now finally coming into uh, for real application real use so that is definitely a moment of pride yeah we are happy and i can hear it in your voice but actually uh, yes. i just have to add this because you use the term dream sir so i just want to say this to you ke sapne sach aate hain Sirf dekhna aana chahiye. Am I right? Yes, yes. Wonderful. And I must also add that uh, I got a tremendous support, not only from our, from our funding agency, Ministry of Electronics, Information Technology, also our institute. Nice. And a lot of our colleagues also uh, supported this uh, research and finally development and all those type of things. I must uh, be grateful to all of them also. And sir, of course, needless to say, you have our respect and all the applause that we can give you is, is, you. is, is forever going to be there. Of course, now, coming back to a little more about the photonics-based QR, uh, QRNG, uh, you, like you mentioned, it's scalable and uh, it's compact compared to bulky lab setups. So, uh, would you say that we are very close now to seeing this uh, go into a mass market device and uh, critical infrastructure? Definitely. So as you know, that's QRNG, whatever we have, this is a first version. I think we will go forward for many more versions so that it will become more and more compact, mm -hmm. pluggable. So it should be useful for uh, many applications, not only for your just quantum key security, you can use for a uh, some kind of financial, banking, gaming, different places you can use. So that thing will be going forward. I am sure that this product actually uh, is going to manifest. Not only it will uh, uh, fulfill the demand of Indian market, I would say that uh, this would also uh, help uh, India uh, to bring revenues from Western countries also. So it is basically India's global positioning. You had obviously mentioned Stanford, MIT. Yes various brilliant institutes. Um, yes. Most quantum hardware today, well, actually comes from abroad, like you had mentioned, with QR, exactly. uh, QRNG licensed locally. Are we ready to export not just software talent, but also hardware innovation to the world uh, in, in a big way? Are we, are we, are we all set, uh, Professor, uh, to take yes. that quantum leap, so to say? Yes, I, th I believe this is the beginning. So anything, you know, as you mentioned in the in your first question that a uh, lot of quantum proof of concept, you can demonstrate using bulk optics, big uh, uh, table size, room size, experimental setup. But when you go for chip scale design, indigenously design, and you can in future, you can also integrate directly on QKD transceiver chip also, this type of QRNG. So I am definitely uh, confident that these things uh, will go globally, not only for only 
QR, standalone QRNG uh, supply, but also many more secure device system you can develop using this type of uh, QRNG, uh, whatever chip we have developed. Wonderful. Professor, yes. it's been a true pleasure having you with us today on the show. Uh, before I let you go, I would request you very humbly to give that one message to all of India right now and that one message that actually comes from your heart. Yes, I think uh, if you, you need in India, you know, uh, just before I give one message, I want to say that I Please feel do. that I feel that if you are confident and if you believe in your strength and uh, uh, strength and knowledge, I think keep on doing. You need a little bit of hurdles, but one day you will be able to fulfill your dream, whatever you want to do. Nice. India is a place. This is the proof. I, am, I must say that this is the proof. This is the evidence we have given to the in all India that anything and the world, not, sir, possible. and the world to all of India and, and the world and the world. Yes, it is possible. We we only need to keep on doing, keep on doing, keep on trying, and it is possible. And one thing is that if you do something, all supports you will get, as we got already. Wonderful. Well, Professor, it's been a true honor. Uh, thank you so much for this. Thank and you, I thank, thank you. you, your team, and all of the brilliant work that you have been doing and will continue to do and to break new ground as you will keep going along. Because the one thing is that I've been able to understand from you, Professor, is that you are a true force of nature. Thank, thank you, you so very, much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's a moment of pride. And, and in conclusion, I'd just like to say this, uh, whatever I could understand with, uh, through our conversation with the professor, this actually isn't just a one crore licensing deal. It's actually a milestone that puts India on the global map of quantum secure hardware, a step that ensures the next decade of encryption doesn't just flow through Silicon Valley or Shenzhen, but also through Chennai. This is front page by AIM TV. And you know what? That means think AI, think AIM.